Okay, three, two, one. It's currently 37 degrees in the UK today. We're just not used to this heat. So I've had to close my windows for this video. So yeah, we're not gonna waffle in this video <laughs> at all. And I have my hair down. The one video I choose to have my hair down, it's like the hottest day. But yeah, I, I tried with my hair, okay? I tried to keep it down. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I owe you an evening routine, okay? Because in exam season, I got so caught up in revision, I was stressed, I felt under a lot of pressure, and I didn't manage to upload an evening routine, and I normally do them in pairs, so I gave you guys an exam season morning routine, which I will link down below, but I never managed to do the evening routine just because I was very, very busy in exam season. I thought I would do a twist on an evening routine. I'm going to talk you through and show you my exam season evening routine and then compare it to my evening routine now. So I thought it would be an interesting take on an evening routine video and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So without waffling and making this intro too long, um, we'll get straight into it. If you enjoyed this video, do like it. Let's jump in and start with my exam season evening routine. This routine was incredibly set in stone. I did this for about five weeks solid whilst I was at university. So it was my last few weeks at university studying. It was basically throughout the whole of May up into my exams, which took place over one week. I had five exams in five days. But yeah, it was literally just very much focused on me studying. It took so much mental resilience and perseverance. It felt like it was going on forever at the time, but looking back on it, it went incredibly quickly. So I didn't have any academic support or contact during that time. So no lectures, no supervisions. It was literally just me at my desk in my room. I don't even study in libraries. So it was just me working away in my room. So at four or five, this was kind of the start of my afternoon session of revision. I had kind of like four little sessions throughout my day. Um, one would be in the morning before breakfast, one would be after breakfast and up till lunch, which is when I would then go to the gym. So I went to the gym and worked out late morning before lunch. And then the two sessions that I had in the evening, which I will talk about in this video, are the ones up to my dinner and then kind of like after my dinner. In terms of what I was doing, it was yes, literally just me trying to revise because the closer you get to exams, the more it focuses on you really trying to learn and memorize information. I obviously had a revision timetable and my sort of technique or strategy is that I will revise one big module per day. So for me, I would either be doing like cancer one day or immunology or genetics. Those were my three big modules. And then in my little study sessions throughout the day, I would be using a variety of revision methods and techniques to learn that information. That might be making flashcards or making my wall flashcards that I put up on the wall or scribbling things down. This is my main method that I use all the time is just scribbling things down from memory. I'd usually save essay writing for the mornings. I would either be making some more notes or I'd be reading maybe abstracts of some papers. I wasn't really reading whole papers at that point just because it was getting really close to exams and I had so much information to learn as it is. I would be like annotating computerized notes if I'd made them that way. And yeah, it just essentially takes a lot of repetition and determination to get information in your brain. I'm not saying it's easy, it's so freaking hard. And right now, all I can think about is the heat. Oh my gosh, this hair is just too much. Why do I have brown hair? At around 6 p.m. I would then have a snack and take a bit of a longer break. So I'd like go on my phone or I'd reply to some emails, check some emails, look on YouTube and yeah, eat a snack. So normally it was cereal or like a naked bar, trek bar, some sort of energy bar, some fruit maybe. And yeah, that would be like my set break. As you can tell from this, it's very set in stone as I keep saying. And that break was normally like 15 to 20 minutes I'd say and then after that I would go back to my desk and do a bit more revision for about an hour up until 7 p.m. I should also say sometimes when I'm revising I'm not just sitting down I might be walking around my room chanting things saying things out loud pretending that I'm speaking to milk or at home speaking things aloud sometimes helps but the majority of it was me at my desk with my head down churning through the notes and learning 
as much information as possible. So in like the first few weeks when I was back at uni, I would go on a walk at around seven or 7.30 and i'd go and walk in like green spaces in parks around cambridge and i just have my flashcards or sometimes my whole notes and i'd just be walking and doing my flashcards flashing away at the flashcards or like getting the notes into my head but it meant that i got fresh air and it was super effective time management sometimes i might have gone to sainsbury's in that time to restock on the bananas or some fresh food however later in the exam season i kind of felt so under pressure and i felt as if i wasn't going to learn everything in time so i kind of did away with that walk and just crammed in my room and then that took me to the time when i would eat my dinner and that would be like at around 8 8 30. i tend to eat quite late and i do that at home anyway as throughout all of my time at uni i would always make my own meals i'd start by cutting up a load of veg when i was really in that exam season mode i'd just you know have my staple meals and the things that i knew i could do quickly just shove some things in the pan bring them to boil drain shove it in a bowl eat it done you know it was really quick and easy simple on a bad day i would have all my washing up to do at the end of the day sometimes i'd do a bit in the morning but most of the time it was all of my washing up to be done in the evening and then I'd obviously FaceTime home, speak to mum, dad, Emily, Matthew, anyone that was at home, even all the animals, you know, the full fam on FaceTime. But to be honest with you, my side of the story was not very interesting. Mum would be like, what have you been doing today, Holly? And I'd be like, oh, hmm, take a guess. Revision. After that, I would then sit back at my desk and just read through some more notes whilst I was eating my dinner. And then after that, I would jump straight in the shower. I am notorious for being very quick in the shower. At max, it takes me like 10 minutes, unless I'm washing my hair. And in that case, it takes me a bit longer than 10 minutes. But yeah, I am in and out the shower really quickly. Just because I'm just like, I don't need to spend that much time washing myself. So I'll get in, do what I need to do, and get out. I'm also a very low maintenance person anyway, so. I don't really have that much to do with my skin, my hair. I just get in, get out. It's done. And after my shower, I'd wash up my bowl from dinner and then I would just like cram a bit more or do some flashcards, read my wall flashcards. If I read something before I go to bed, I find that it really sticks in my brain. Even if I wasn't even hungry, I would eat more before I went to bed. Normally that would be like oats and then I'd have some almond milk to drink and then I'd do my teeth and get into bed essentially the time that i would go to bed would be around 11 pm which is later than i wanted but when i was trying to cram and learn information it just ended up being 11 pm if you watch my morning routine and you see that i wake up at 6 pm i was getting a solid seven hours sleep throughout the whole of exam period which is one hour less than the recommended of eight hours so i think that's good and it's a lot more than some people would have been getting so it was a decent night's sleep and when my body was in this routine i would wake up before my alarm anyway okay so that is my exam season evening routine let's jump to my routine now i still have a kind of set routine of what i do but it's more flexible and it's a lot more varied i'm still gonna start at like 4 or 5 p.m and i tend to find myself working out and exercising in the afternoon as opposed to in the morning at the moment so i'll either go on a run or more recently i've been going to the gym because i've signed back up and i honestly love going to the gym i really enjoy using some of the machines using the space that they have so they have a really nice big space for me to leap and run and jump try and build some strength a bit of muscle i really do like the gym I will walk there and it's normally about a 20 to 25 minute walk so i tend to listen to something when i'm walking and this is something that i never felt i had the time to do in exam season i have been listening to podcasts or books recently and i've been using audible to listen to books and oh my goodness me i have been loving it it's something that i've really struggled with i've always struggled to a find the time to just sit and read something and b find the like concentration to just sit and read something it's something i really should work on however when i've been like listening to podcasts or books when i'm running i can run further and then when i've been walking to the gym it's just something to distract me and it's really good use of my time i'm so happy to say this video is sponsored by audible i honestly love what they do do. So Audible is an app that you can use to listen to digital audiobooks essentially. You can listen to a huge huge variety of different books including those that are best selling and even 
guided meditation and fitness program sort of thing. They're all narrated professionally and personally I think it's incredible because I feel as if I'm just having a conversation with the person that actually wrote the book. So yeah, I highly recommend just listening whilst you're on the go, whilst you're commuting, whilst you're going to school or whatever. Not now, it's the summer, but you know what I mean. It's honestly changing my game and I feel as if I'm learning more that I'm listening more. I am really thinking about new concepts, new ideas, and I cannot recommend it enough. So one of the books that I've been listening to and I've just started is called Why We Sleep, which is kind of quite suitable for this video. I didn't even plan it like this, even though I suppose I haven't really been getting enough sleep, but you know, it's a it's a really good read. It's a book by Matthew Walker. It's kind of biology related, science related. It's something that I know I'm gonna enjoy. And it's all about sleep, why we sleep, why we need to sleep eight hours, the benefits of sleep and how it impacts basically every organ in our body. And I'm really loving it. So yeah, I've just been listening to that on Audible and it's so great. If you want to use Audible, you can get a 30 day free trial. And that means that you'll get access to one, free audiobook and two Audible originals that aren't on any other platform. You just need to go to audible.com forward slash Holly Gabrielle or text Holly Gabrielle to 500 500. If you have any book recommendations, feel free to leave them down below. And again, if you want to join Audible and start listening as well, you can go to audible.com forward slash Holly Gabrielle or text Holly Gabrielle to 500 500. And then after the gym, it's, as I said, very flexible and varied. So when I filmed this the other day, I went to the shops with my mum afterwards and we did a little bit of shopping for the things that we were out of. It was quite a big shop that day. So I was just helping mum out or I'll like be at home and I'll be editing, replying to emails, or I might have a tutoring session or helping somebody out with their personal statement. It's something that I've started doing. Or I will have been like, prepping for job interviews, applying for more jobs, writing cover letters, you know. On the day that I filmed as well, I got back from the shops with mum and then I went on a dog walk with my sister, took Bali and Java around the fields. Similar to an exam season, we eat quite late, I suppose, as a family still, so around 8, 8.30. The other day I made food and I suppose because I have more time and it's not so time pressured, I will be a bit more creative, maybe try some recipes if I'm in a creative mood. So the other day we had some boiled potatoes potatoes and veg which I just chopped up and threw into a pan and then I also made something that I'm gonna call my fancy baked beans and this guys actually had a lot of flavor to it you guys know I quite like my plain stuff but this had so much flavor and I'm actually gonna leave the recipe or what I can remember from the recipe below because I thought it was actually so good and mom and Emily both recommend I call it fancy baked beans because it's got anything and everything in it. I added like tamari, turmeric, coriander, tomatoes, beans, onion, garlic, tahini, you know, it was fancy and they tasted so good. Mum is sampling the fancy baked beans. Is it nice? Mm, yeah, it's got a lot of them. What, you like it? Yeah, I think, I don't know enough of it goes down, I think it is. Let me, I think I should try it. I'm no, the one who made it. the fancy baked beans. So yeah, we made that with our potatoes and it was such a good dinner. So I'm gonna try and leave that in the description box below if you're interested. Put it down a bit, I can't see the thing. I present you with the fancy baked beans. Come on. I can't see the thing. Fancy baked beans. It actually tastes good. Okay. <laughs> And then again, as I said, I'm just like kind of talking through and basing this off what I did the other day. I was in the shower around 10 p.m. and that day I was washing my hair. I don't wash my hair that often anyway, but I just jumped in the shower, washed my hair. My favorite shower gels are Original Source. They have always been my faves. I then use shampoos and conditioners, either the Faith in Nature brand or those from Function of Beauty, which are personalized to me. I use a comb to brush through my hair. And then I also use a microfiber towel, which has really changed up the game with the frizziness although right now my hair is like dripping with sweat this is where in the evening time if I've been like helping out around downstairs and I've still got stuff to do on my computer I just get carried away I get carried away editing I get carried away replying to emails and just sorting out stuff or 
trying to think about my life and yeah I tend to be up quite late so I'm just there sitting at my computer when my hair is not so damp I will also put some coconut oil in my hair and then here's the the new deal okay so I decided that I was gonna try and watch Love Island and I started when I got back from New York I think I don't know why and you guys know that I'm not really one to want to conform to a lot of things and just follow a crowd however I kind of just was like I may as well see what it's all about and it's meant that I can actually talk to people about Love Island and engage in the conversations that my friends have been having about Love Island. I don't know why I'm so engaged in it. You can think what you like about me, whether it's a program I should or shouldn't be watching, but to be honest with you, it's just quite entertaining. And I know there are a lot of issues with the show, but Love Island is quite fun actually. So I would just watch it on catch up. I don't watch it when it's going on live. I just catch up on Love Island. And yeah, I tend to be going to bed kind of late, which isn't great and seeing as i've mentioned the book like why we sleep i suppose i need to work on this and i actually need to reset my sleep schedule so i am going to be working on that because going to bed at midnight as it has been for the last couple of weeks or so has not been that great i blame the love island i shouldn't really be watching it but hey ho tell me in the comments down below if you're actually watching love island i am so out to ring I've just been sitting here and I'm dripping. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said before, like it if you did. Check out Audible if you want to down below. And I will speak to you guys in another video. Thank you as always for watching. Bye. <laughs> <sighs> Open the window.